Hi, in this video we're going to talk about variables. So what's a variable? A variable is like a box with a name that can hold a value. So here I have a variable called numapples with the value 5 that represents these 5 apples here. So remember variables have a name, a type, and a value. So in this example the name is numapples, the type is int for integer, and the value is five. There's five apples. So there's a few important things we can do with variables and one of them is declaring a variable. So this code here, int numapples semicolon, declares the variable numapples. And what that really means is that you're saying, I hereby make a box called numapples to hold an integer. So it's important that in Java you say the type of the variable when you declare it. So the other important thing is initializing a variable. And so here with this code, we're creating the variable numapples and initializing it to five. So initializing both is creating the variable and setting its initial value. So here you see the box numapples has the value five. And assigning to a variable lets us actually change the value in the box. So here on this first line, I write int numapples equals five. That initializes the variable numapples to five. And then this next line, numapples equals zero, this sets the value in the box equal to zero. It assigns a new value to the variable. And there's something really important on this line. Notice that I don't have the word int again. You only write the word int or the type of the variable when you declare the variable for the first time. So there's a few types in Java that you'll want to be aware of. Some of them are the primitive types. And so we've already used int, which is for integers. Double is for numbers that have decimals. Care is for characters like A, B, C, D. And Boolean is for true false values. So for the number types, the integers are whole numbers. It's the numbers used to count. You know, numbers like negative three, negative two, negative one. So here is an example of using an integer, int numapples equals five. Doubles, they're like real numbers and they can have decimals. So for example, double cost equals 40.25. The Boolean type represents a true false value. So Boolean logged in equals false and Boolean game over equals true. And the care type represents a single character like care first letter equals A and care grade equals B. And notice that with cares we're just writing these between single quotes. Another type you'll want to know is called strings. Strings are not a primitive type like the others and strings are for text. So strings go between quotes and start with a capital S. Remember it's not a primitive type like the others. So if I want to write a variable to save my name, I write string name equals, and then in double quotes, Jeremy. String question equals, how are you? Values assigned to variables are called literal values. A literal value is a value that is written exactly as it's meant to be interpreted and is the source code representation of a fixed value. While the value of numapples can be changed, it may eventually refer to another value. The value five cannot be changed and is a fixed number. Variables can be protected from alteration if the keyword final is included before the data type. If there are any attempts to change the variable value, then an error will be called, indicating that the variable has already been assigned. This is often used as a security measure in more complex programs to ensure that values cannot be changed or modified by others. So when you name your variables, there's a few important rules. First, it must start with a letter or the dollar sign or underscore and the rest of the name can have letters, numbers, or the underscore. And you have to remember that variable names are case sensitive, that the variable name with a lowercase n is different than name with a capital M. In this course, we'll write all of our names in lower camel case, where we start with a lowercase letter, and then every word afterwards has an uppercase letter. So to show you a few examples of that, on the left we have some good examples int num apples with a capital A, int students in class, uh, int total score, 
Let's look at some bad examples. Int my space var. So that's not good because it has a space in it. Int eight ball location. That doesn't work because it starts with a number. And int n, well that's not very descriptive of what we're trying to do. So let's go into our editor and create some variables. Okay, so the first variable we're gonna create is a variable to store the number of Snapchats that we've sent. So we'll write an integer for this. So we'll say int Snapchats sent equals 352 semicolon. Now let's print that out. System.out.println snapchats sent. So when we run this code, we'll print out 352. But you might want to write something more descriptive than just the number. So we'll add some text to that. We'll say number of snapchats sent, uh, and then end quotes, and then plus snapchats sent. And so what this is doing right here is actually going to print out a string and then our variable and this is called concatenating when we're combining strings with other strings or strings with other variables and so notice it doesn't print snapchat sent it prints the value of that variable so now we'll make another variable we'll make a double to hold the number of youtube videos watched so we'll say youtube videos watched equals 130.5 because we didn't finish the last one and so we'll say system.outprintlin number of YouTube videos watched, vid videos watched, plus YouTube videos watched. Semicolon. Now let's run that. You can see we print out both of the numbers. Now let's make another variable to represent our, let's see, favorite site, no, favorite app equals Instagram. So we can print that out, system.out.println favorite app plus favorite app. Let's run this. Okay, so there you go, prints it out. And then let's say we go and we watch a lot more YouTube videos. So we'll say YouTube videos watched is now equal to 240.4. So now if we print out that value, we'll print out the same line as before by copy pasting it, you'll see that the output will be different because the value of the variable has changed. So let's print out some other variables. We can say care first letter equals A and note that has single quotes. We can print line the first letter plus first letter and let's run that. So there you go. This is how we start to use variables. Remember we can declare variables, print out variables, and then change the value of variables. So now you'll have a chance to play around with this.